Hello everyone. Backlight the power deliver cage resistor. The voltage source, potential source is 24 volts, and that's right here. Uh, R1, you have four resistors. R1, 3 ohm. R2, 2 ohm. This one is R3, and it's 1 ohm, and this one is 4 ohm, and we'll call this one R4. First thing to do when you, is to find the equivalent resistance. So the rule when you have resistors in parallel is you do reciprocal addition. So that's when you do R is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 dot 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 or to however many you have in parallel, inverse. And then in series, if it's in series, uh, normal addition. So that, that means R would just be R1 plus R2. So for this problem, uh, let me go back to the beginning. All right, all right, R1, uh, R2 and this resistor are in parallel, so we reciprocal add. So R1 is gonna be one over two plus one over one ohm inverse, you get two over three. That parallel branches in series with this R1 here. And this, so we can just add three and four to the two thirds we got, and you get 23 over three. And then we know the, from this equation, V is equal to I times R, current times resistance. We can solve for I, and we get 3.13 amps. All right, next, now that we know the current, we can find the power delivered to the first and four, the three ohm and the four ohm, because they're in, they get the same amount of current because they're in series. The only parts that, or resistors that get different amounts of current are these two because they're in parallel. They get the same voltage when they're in parallel, but they get, because they get different current, dif they get different amounts of current because the resistances are different. All right, so up here is, I'll enlarge this. Okay. So 3.13 amp squared times three ohm. I'm using this formula, P is equal to I squared times R. So all you have to do is put in the current and then put in the resistance and that will give us the answer for the three and the four but we have to do things slightly differently when we get to the two ohm and the one ohm because they're wired in parallel. So the current through each of those is, okay, for the one ohm, the current is the same for all these, but for the two and the one ohm right here, the way you find R is you wanna find whatever all them added up together, so two plus one would be three. And then if you're trying to find the one ohm, you put two. If you're trying to find the other one, vice versa. So that's why you have two here and you have one and you get 4.35 watts and 2.18.